Hello traders, this is Lisbeth Bilugina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Friday the 17th of May. We can see that S&P 500 index initially declined, then it uh, went up. The market keeps following trade-related headlines and here the picture is mixed. On the one hand, uh, there were reports that the United States is close to a deal to remove tariffs on steel and aluminium imports from Canada and Mexico and that provided support for American stocks. On the other hand, China took a hard stance on its tariffs war with the US and China's Communist Party newspaper said that trade war will make China only stronger. That is a negative factor for the Wall Street and uh, as a result uh, the Chinese situation is surely taken precedent and as long as uh, the market remains below 2900 level and 2920 uh, resistance, we see serious risks that the price returns below the 50-day moving average um, around 28.70 mark and in this case we might see the decline to 28.15 and 2800 level. Authorities from China and America will hold a meeting soon, so we will surely uh, see more headlines related to this issue and these headlines will continue to move the market. Industrial sector companies uh, which are sensitive to the escalation of trade tensions uh, declined. Uh, have a look at the chart of Caterpillar. Here we see that there was a gap on the weekly chart and the negative performance of the stock. We are now testing the level of 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of the advance from the uh, lows of October to the highs since this year. And uh, if the price fixes below this level, it will be vulnerable for a decline to the next downside target in the area of 119. Another industrial company, 3M, is also under pressure. We are also looking at the weekly chart and uh, we can see that uh, during the last month, the stock uh, plunged. And, um, if it goes below the support in the area of 167, it may continue falling down to uh, the lows of October located around 163.50 and to the level of 160, the near-term targets on the downside. The stock will remain under pressure as long as it trades below the level of 181.70. Also, if we have a look at the chart of Apple, uh, we will see that there was a bearish gap, which the stock now closed, but still uh, remains below the 200 moving average, just above 192 mark, and that uh, is a serious resistance for the price. The uh, gap in Apple was caused by the fact that Nomura cut price target for the stock as it is uh, also exposed to the Chinese situation. So uh, the decline below the levels around 184 will bring Apple to 178.50 area. Finally, uh, it's necessary to mention that was there was a big bearish gap in Pinterest. The company delivered earnings report for the first time since it went public and it reported a bigger loss than expected in the first quarter. As a result, we now uh, see this negative reaction. Uh, for now, we are trading below the opening price and uh, some consolidation here is expected for the stock. No serious technical analysis may be done here for the company yet as we do not have significant history for the market. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and have a great weekend.